Okay, so let's find some intercepts. Okay, here's the first one we're going to do. Now remember with intercepts, uh, there's a rule that we have to follow for that. So when you want to find the x-intercept, you're going to put in a zero for y. Always. Doesn't matter what the equation is, we always do the same process. So let's do that for this one. Put in a zero for y. 4x plus zero squared equals four. Zero goes away, we get 4x equals 4, and when we solve for that, we get x is equal to 1. This is where it'll cross the x-axis. Next, we want to find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is where you put in a 0 for x. So let's do that. Put a 0 into the original equation there. 4 times 0 plus y squared equals 4. If we simplify that, we get y squared equals 4. Remember, for this, you've got to take the square root of both sides to get y by itself. Now, when you do, you're going to get plus or minus because uh, if you take negative 2 squared, you get 4, and 2 squared, you also get 4, so you get two answers. So y is going to equal plus or minus 2. So it crosses the y-axis in two places, crosses the x in one spot there. So this right here, uh, this is going to be your part A. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at part B here. So erase this, hopefully you got all that already. Uh, so uh, part B is y equals absolute value x minus 4 minus 5. We're going to do exactly the same procedure we did before. So if you want to find x-intercept, you're going to put in a, a 0 for y. Okay, if I put in a 0 for y, I get absolute value x minus 4 minus 5. To solve absolute value equations, you need to get the absolute value isolated. So I'm going to move this over and isolate it just like that. Now, you need to, when you have absolute values and you're solving them, remember that this is actually going to go into two different equations. The reason why is because absolute value of 5 is 5, but absolute value of negative 5 is also 5. So we're going to take this and, and turn it into two different equations. We're going to do this one, x minus 4 equals 5, x minus 4 equals negative 5. So we use exactly what we have inside the absolute value, we just do one positive and one negative to solve these kind of problems. We're going to add 4 to both sides and we get x is equal to 9. Over here, we're going to add 4 to both sides and you get negative 1. So we get two x-intercepts for this problem, a 9 and a negative 1. Let's also take a look at the y-intercept. We'll do that down here. Y-intercept is where you're going to put in a 0 for x. We're going to put that back into the original one. We get absolute value 0 minus 4 minus 5. Now, this part inside, we're going to get absolute value of negative 4 minus 5. Whenever you have an absolute value, it's always going to give you a positive number. So when you work that out, that's going to give you positive 4 minus 5. And then if we work that out, we get negative 1. So for this one, this one has two x-intercepts, 9 and negative 1. And we have one y-intercept, which is going to be at negative 1.